Hello, I'm the Universal Critic. I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want, and today I'm going to talk about the adventures of Tintin. But before I begin, I have to tell you that I haven't. I saw this movie about a week ago, and I've just been really busy lately, so I really haven't had time to do this review until now. But so there are a few things I will, I may not remember about the movie, and I won't talk about. But for what I do remember, which is quite a bit, I will tell you about. And let me tell you, this was a really, really good movie. First, I'll talk about the story. The story is well, it's an adventure story. It's based on an adventure serial from the from way back when, a bunch of comic books from way back when, which I haven't read until and until recently. I haven't even heard of them until I heard about this movie being made. But the story, it's a lot of fun. It's be, it's made by Steven Spielberg, so of course there's a lot of rares of the Lost Ark kind of stuff going on, but it goes more than that. There's a lot of really cool action scenes. The characters are really cool, and I'll talk about them in a minute. And that a lot of that comes from the animation. Well, not animation. This isn't a cartoon. It's a motion capture, you know, like Avatar. You know, stuff kind of like they did with Avatar, but it's more like a stylized, like it's supposed to look like the caricatures from like the caricatures from the comic books, or at least I assume that's what they were going for. I haven't read them or really seen any of them, so I can't really comment on that, but that, I think that's what they were going for, I think. Anyway, the uh, let's get to the, that's the story, and I that's the animation. Well, let's get to the characters, which is, to avoid spoilers, I'll talk about the characters now, not the story. The main character is, of course, Tintin, He's a, who's a journalist in the movie, and he's really... He's a really fun character. He's smart, he's fu funny, and he has this really c neat catchphrase. It's kind of corny, but it's also pretty cool. It's, it's great snakes. I'm not, I'm not kidding, that's his catchphrase. He doesn't use it that much, but it's still there. And he, and his, let's talk about his sidekick, Snowy the dog. Uh, yeah, that's the cutest dog you'll ever see in your life. It, but it's more to it than that. He actually helps Tintin out a lot. He's not like someone like Scrappy Doo, who is incredibly annoying, and you everybody seems to hate, but he, this carrot, this dog you'll love, and he's a very helpful and very funny. And next, talk about my favorite character in the movie, Captain Haddock, played by Andy Serkis, who you may know as Caesar in in the newest Planet of the Apes movie. He he is probably the most interesting character in the entire movie, except for maybe the villain, who we'll get to in a minute. Well, he's a well, he's a very kind of an anti-hero. He's he wants to be helpful, but he's constantly drunk. Yeah, that yeah, this is not exactly a kids movie, but it's okay. But it's good enough for. I mean, it's not really a kids movie, but it's okay for kids anyway. It's nothing uh, inappropriate, like, as you can see by having a drunk character. Captain Haddock is well. He's a he's a lot of fun. There's this really interesting thing where the like he has to like remember something that happened way back when, so they can solve this mystery they're trying to solve, and they have these really complex and really creative flashback sequences. There's a lot of fighting. He's he's acting he's like acting them out as he's remembering them. and keeps switching between the present and the past. It's really, it's really fun. It's really fun, and uh, yeah, Captain Haddock. Well, like I said, he's probably the most interesting character, just because not because he's just drunk, but because he has a past. He's sympathetic. He doesn't come off as a jerk. I mean, he does a little bit, but he's also the one of the funniest characters. He's not the absolute funniest, but yeah, he's probably the mo yeah he's my favorite character in the movie. Now let's get to the villain Saccharin, played by Daniel Craig, who you all know as James Bond. He's a pretty cool. He's a pretty cool villain. I mean, he's. He's dignified, but he's also ruthless. He's classy, but he's but he can be just as savage as you, as bastardly as you want, as any villain in say a Disney movie could could be. But he well, there's of course his this is a treasure hunt movie, so his main goal is, but his main goal is of course well money. But there's a little more to that. I won't spoil it here. But let's just say there's a little bit there's a quite a bit more than just well getting money. It's a very believable situation. Now those two of the side characters are probably one of the last things I'm going to talk about are these two police officers named Thompson and Thompson. They, I guess that I guess they're like the joke is like they're identical. They're identical and what they're pretty. They're they are the funniest characters in the movie, not Captain Haddock. They're like these two police officers who look identical and they sound alike. They they are they are hilarious. Every every scene you see of them will be will make you laugh and it will make you laugh hard. It it really does. Like they're. Ch uh, there's this, this subplot about them just catching a, a pickpocket, and eventually they, they meet up. They meet up to the. They go to the pickpocket's house, and they do, and they don't know it, it's a, it's him. Like even though they, it's like this room full of wallets, like there's like hundreds of wallets all around them, and they can't figure. And it's hilarious because they can't figure out, out that it's him. And like even though the guy's confessing, like right in front of them, that he's guilty or something, it's hilarious. It's it's sort of British humor, but 
At the same time, it's not British humor. Like, it's got all the dryness you want, but it's also got some of the outrageousness you expect from an Ameri from an American movie. So yeah, it that won't that won't turn you off. And then and let's let's talk about the last thing we're talking about is the comedy in the movie. The comedy is like I said before is perfect, especially with Thompson and Thompson. But the other characters get a lot of good laughs too. Snowy, Tintin, Captain Haddock. It's a good movie. It's a good adventure film, which is. And let me emphasize, this is an adventure film. It's for adults and for children. It it won't it won't offend adults. Like there's like oh my, it won't be like oh my god, they actually said that. This is I thought this was a kids movie. No, this is not a kids movie. But it's not. I mean, it can be, but it's for both. It's kind of like Shrek. It has some things that maybe that adults will understand, but kids probably won't get. But there's nothing in it that will like totally like say oh my like say oh my god, this is so inappropriate. No no kid should see this. All around, The Adventures of Tintin is a good adventure, as the title suggests. It's an adventure film, it's a lot of fun, the action sequences are great, the humor is great, the characters are great, the story is great. It's just an all-around great movie. I'm the Nostalgia Critic, I did. Oh, sorry. Let me, let me, I'm not the Nostalgia Critic, I'm the Universal Critic. I, I remember, I, I, oh, oh god, let me, let me try that one more time. I'm the Universal Critic, I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want, bye-bye.